2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. The Bible is not saying about right or wrong. The Bible is telling you, due to your captivity, your slavery, how are you going to find your four fathers, brother? Hold on. You say slavery. My, my brother. Hold on. Yes. You, the Bible is telling you, due to my slavery, how am I going to find my four fathers? Give me Jeremiah. You know hold what I'm on. Hold I don't on. talk into this way. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You can speak. I'm telling him right now. Don't tell him what to do. You talk to me. Get what I want. Go ahead. Yes. Absolutely. Brother, let me explain to you. Of course the Bible came before slavery. There's something in the Bible that tells us that we're not going to... Guess what? Because we, when we came here... Oh, my brother. My, okay, bro, bro, listen. listen. You're wrong on that. You're wrong on that. Let me ask you a question. When our people came to these shores... I'm sorry. When, when our people came to these shores and the West Indies and South America all over the world, were we speaking our language? I'm asking you a question. After the slave master got a hold of us, did we continue on speaking the same language as we had before? I'm sorry, brother, let me speak to this man. Were we speaking our native tongue? No, why not? Because we couldn't. Right. So now, do we remember what our language was? That's the question. Majority of us, no. What majority? None of us. Don't play games with me, bro. Of course me. I don't know it either. Now listen to this. This is the weak brother. We are the representatives of the Most High Christ. That's what y'all have to understand. We don't come out of our head. Y'all have questions out of y'all head. We're answering you through the Lord's word. Now listen close. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. He's talking to the prophet Jeremiah right here. And the Lord said, you, Jeremiah, even you are going to discontinue from your heritage. What does that mean, brother? To di be discontinued from your heritage. What does that mean? You kind of lose your culture. Exactly. You're not going to remember your name. You're not going to remember your culture. You're not going to remember who you are as a people. You see? Now you're known as what? A Jamaican. One second. What does Jamaican mean? You see that? You see that? You don't even know what Jamaican means, and we just turned Jamaican a few hundred years ago. Let me. What does Jamaican mean, my brother? Are you? Are you? Your, your family from Jamaica? Which island? All right, Benjamin. Me too. Now, what does Jamaican mean? All right, come on. All of y'all in and all y'all study, y'all do y'all thing. We just regular passers by, right? That's right. So if y'all gonna ask us, y'all gonna know the answers. We're not gonna know. We're looking for answers. So when y'all gonna throw this the first question and try to shame us? No, it's the brother, brother. That's what you want to say. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. When you're in college, hold on, my brother, hold on. One second. I'm we giving you knowledge, brother. I'm 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 showing you a question and then giving you an answer. When you're in college and they tell you to go take a statistics course, you don't know what's in the course. They're posing questions, then teaching you how to solve it. My brother, there's no shame in this. The question I'm trying to bring to you is show you that you discontinue from your heritage. You do not know who you are. That is why the Lord said, don't ask foolish questions about genealogy. Because the Lord put us into slavery on slave ships. Who went into slavery on slave ships, my brother? Who? No, no, no. I want you to ask the question. Answer the question. Very simple. what you said. The Lord said, don't ask foolish questions about genealogy. Yes. So why, why can't a white man believe in the Bible and be... A white man can't believe in the Bible because he's not an Israelite. Right. Give me the book of Psalms chapter 147. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right now. 
my brother, the Israelites, the so-called white man is not an Israelite. What about the half-white? The who? Half-white. Half-white man? If your father... Hold on. Hold on. Give me the book before we go there. Give me uh, Numbers 1 and 18. My brother. My brother. If you know anything about the tribe of Benjamin, if we, if you know anything about the tribe of Benjamin, we have been mixed from early on. You gotta understand something. Through the mother, listen, listen close. The father was Benjamin, a true Israelite. Okay? In the book of Judges, it shows you that the Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin went to war against the entire nation of Israel. Right? Israel used to fight amongst each other sometimes. Benjamin fought all 11 tribes. They, they, had a, they had a discrepancy because there was a woman raped. The woman was raped by somebody in the tribe of Benjamin. They went to the tribe and said, bring forth that man. Benjamin said, no, we're not bringing forth the man. We're going to handle it internally. They said, no, you don't do that. You bring them out to us. And Benjamin said, to hell with y'all. We're going to take you to war. Nobody tell us what to do. The war happened. Then Benjamin, finally, in the last day, Benjamin got almost killed off to extinction. The Lord took the men from Benjamin and built up the tribe again with women from different nations. Okay, that's in the book of Judges in this Bible, right? So now, we're going to show you why he used the men to bring back the tribe, not the women. The woman can only bring out a child of who the man is. So when you see a black woman, hold on, when you see a black woman have a child with a white man, that child is a white child. It don't matter how dark the child is. Okay, now watch this, come on. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. You heard that? They declared the pedigree of the family after the house of the father. Your father is who you are. That's where you get your uh, lineage from. It's who your father is. So when the Lord is telling you, listen, don't ask silly questions about that because you know your people came in on slave ships, which is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. You know that for a fact. So don't come now and say, wait a minute, how do I know my father is not a, 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 a Chinese man? No, no, the Lord said, no, 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 we don't want to hear that. Keep the commandments and live. You understand? Was everybody brought on slave ships? No. Why not? It wasn't everybody. No, only the Israelites were brought on slave ships, my brother. That's why we read in the book of Deuteronomy. Get that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. This is how we know that we're the Israelites, brother. The so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American Indians of the diaspora. That's how we know we Israel. Because of the Bible, not because we want to be. Huh? Yeah, okay, give me 47. Watch this, family. Watch this. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. What shall be on you for a sign and a wonder is the curses. Remember, at this point, Moses went to Israel and said, Listen, if you don't keep the laws of God, curses are going to be upon you and overtake you no matter where you go. So now that the book in chapter 46, it says what? Read that again. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder, the curses shall be on you for a sign and a wonder. What are some of the curses? That your people are going to be taken and given to another people in slavery, and you won't be able to get them back. Right. Another, hold on, another curse is you won't be able to know your heritage anymore. And, and one of the big ones is what? Read that next verse and then jump to 68. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the floor. And upon thy seed forever, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt, get that in Exodus 20 and 2. When we jump into the scriptures, brother, what we're doing is called precept upon precept. That's how the Lord has us read the Bible. That's how come the churches don't know what the Bible means, because they keep trying to read it like a novel. When you read it like a novel, you're going to understand the history, but you're not going to understand the dark sayings or the, the true understanding of it. That's how come you see the Israelites knowing what? That we went into slavery, that we are the true Jews. Why did the, the Christian church don't teach that? Because they don't know it. They haven't been taught correctly. That's why we're here to bring it to y'all. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You heard that? The word Egypt, or Egypt those means what? The house of bondage. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You heard that? You're going to go 
equivalent to slavery, but this time you're going with ships. That's where you're going. In ships, you're going to go into slavery all over the world. Come on. By the way, we're up. I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You're never going to see your homeland again. Have, have our people seen our homeland since we've been gone? I'm asking you a question. Because Jamaica's not a homeland. I'm not going to ask you a question. Brother, we grown men. I'm going to give you the floor, my brother. This is not about winning and losing. You, you know why you lost your train of thought? This is not about winning and losing. Now, listen to what I'm telling you, bro. When the word comes out, you have to listen in order to know where we're coming from. You trying to just keep your, your you want to keep your offense. Because I want to learn, but you keep on different things that I want to learn. I'm, I'm, no, bro. I'm telling about, about ships and going back to Egypt, and I'm saying. Because you, you, you're not listening. I'm not telling you about going back to Egypt. I'm telling you about going into slavery yes, on, ships. on ships. So who did that? Who did that happen to? That's not what I want to know. I wanna That's know not what you want to know? I want to know. I just told I'm you where you come from. from. Not You're not listening. Go ahead, ask again. Ask it, ask it again in a different way. Somehow, somehow the way you speaking. I'm saying, come on. My grandfather is white. Oh my God. We talking about this again? My brother, if your grandfather is white and you can prove it, you're an Edomite and you're not an Israelite. Let's just cut that right there. Okay, you finished. We already told you. No other nation is going to get this bite. No other nation is getting the kingdom. The so-called white man, the so-called Indian, I don't care who you name. Only the Israelites, you see this guy here? The so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, the so-called Native American Indian. Those are the Israelites that the Bible is talking about. Right? Is, listen to me. So we're not in no more confusion. The Chinese man, listen, your friend the Chinese man is not coming. Your friend the white man is not going to be there. The, your friend the uh, Arab, he's not going to be there. He's not going to be there. He's going to be a slave in the kingdom. Right. All the other nations are going to be slaves underneath the Israelites. That's right. In two places in the Bible, Isaiah 14, and it tells you in the book of Revelation. What else do you need? What else do you want, brother? Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.